If you had to pick just one race, one performance, one singular incredible running moment, which moment would you choose? Indeed, there are countless athletes and innumerable races that have occurred over the years, but based on the significance of this moment, the courage it took to win, and the overall impact it's had on the sport, this is my pick for the greatest race of all time. But before I dive into this epic performance, make sure to like and subscribe, and also make sure to follow me on Instagram for training updates, athlete breakdowns, and of course, anything and everything running. Thanks and enjoy the video. On August 24th, 2004, the great Hisham El Garouj from Morocco entered the Olympic final in the men's 1500 meters. This one race carried extreme expectations, and the pressure on El Garouj to win the gold medal was unmatched. Over the previous eight years, El Garouj had been ranked as the world's top 1500 meter runner. Although he had won the previous four world championships in the 1500, he had been unable to win the gold medal in the Olympics in both 1996 and the year 2000. In 1996, with one lap remaining, El Garouj fell to the ground after making contact with Nordin Morsali of Algeria. Because of this fall, El Garouj unfortunately finished in dead last. Four years later in the 2000 Olympics, El Garouj was the heavy, heavy favorite for the Olympic gold. In fact, he was expected to win because since 1996, El Garouj remained undefeated over the 1500 meters, and during this undefeated stretch, he won two world championships and he broke the world record in the year 1998. As the 1500 meter Olympic final unfolded, El Garouj failed to separate himself from the closing Kenyans, and down the final home stretch, he was passed by Noah Nini from Kenya. Although he won the silver medal, not winning the gold medal was a huge disappointment for El Garouj. Following the 2000 Olympics, El Garouj continued to dominate the international racing scene as he won two more world championships and he continued to maintain his number one world ranking. Leading up to the 2004 Olympics, El Garouj was hit with multiple respiratory infections and very troublesome allergies. Because of these unfortunate health issues, El Garouj lost two additional races during his build-up to the Olympics. This caused many track and field fans to seriously doubt his chances of gold. And as the Olympics finally arrived, Bernard Lagat from Kenya was considered the pre-race favorite. Upon starting the race, El Garouj was forced to the back of the pack, and during his attempts to get up front, he was all the way out in lane 3. After a very slow first lap and another 300 meters of borderline jogging, El Garouj made a difficult but very calculated and necessary decision. In order to beat Bernard Lagat, he knew he had to push the pace and ultimately take out the fast finishing kick from Lagat. With two laps to run, El Garouj took the lead and he slowly but steadily cranked up the pace. After passing through the 800 meter mark in 2 minutes and 1.93 seconds, El Garouj continued his slow but steady acceleration. Coming down the home stretch with just over one lap to run, it didn't seem as though the last lap was super fast. However, it was actually a 55 second lap, which is very impressive because El Garouj made it look very easy. Now with just one lap to run, El Garouj again accelerated and did everything in his power to defeat Lagat. Splitting through the 1200 meter mark in 2 minutes 55.21 seconds, El Garouj was now running well under 55 seconds per lap, but somehow he continued to accelerate while the field wilted behind him. With 200 meters to go, it was now El Garouj versus Lagat. Still in the lead and still somehow accelerating, El Garouj was absolutely flying. But with 100 meters to run, Lagat from Kenya made his move, and against all odds, El Garouj, who had been leading for the previous two laps, shifted into yet another gear and passed Bernard Lagat to win his first Olympic gold medal. With a stunning final 800 meters of 1 minute 46.89 seconds, El Garouj confirmed that he was the greatest 1500 meter runner of all time. This Olympic gold medal was more than just a fantastic victory. This was the story of courage, and it was the story of redemption, and El Garouj placed himself in the one position where there would be no excuses. With this Olympic curse finally broken, El Garouj amazingly won the Olympic final in the 5,000 meters only four days later. In this race, El Garouj defeated both Kenenisa Bekele from Ethiopia and Eliud Kipchoge from Kenya. 
His 1500 meter gold medal was already incredible enough, but with this 5000 meter victory, El Garouge became the second athlete to ever win the 1500 meters and the 5000 in the same Olympics. Because of his courage, his bravery, and his unbelievable racing abilities, I firmly believe the 2004 men's 1500 meter Olympic final is the single greatest track race of all time. And now I pass the question off to you. What do you believe is the greatest race of all time? Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you all again very soon.